Hi, welcome to another video. This will be a strange one, and that's the beauty of my um, travel videos. They don't necessarily follow a specific theme or order. Today, I'm going to visit the Dover Transport Museum. Now, I think it's £12 to get in, and it covers all forms of engineering and transport, buses, coaches, cars, steam engines, you name it, it's probably in here. I'm no aficionado on um, transport, but I do like looking at old classic cars. And if there's a classic car fair, then I'll ordinarily make my way and try and get, you know, to each, each and every one of these fairs. But the Dover Transport Museum is an interesting place. And I have asked them on a previous visit about filming and they said, oh, please do film. It encourages people to come along. So that's good news. There's an old Bedford there. That doesn't look like an old motorbike, does it? You can see the buses inside. We'll go in in a minute. An old Austin. Isn't that beautiful looking thing? Austin of England. I'll have a 99. Would you like a flake with that, love? <laughs> oh, I thought that was actually a guy in there. Hey, mate, do you have sprinkles? <laughs> sprinkles. Old World War I vehicle. And we've got an air raid shelter here. Maximum persons, 150. <laughs> do you think you could get 150 people in here? Wow. A little air raid shelter. Press once for sound. I am speaking to you from the cabinet room at 10 Downing Street. This morning, the British ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note, stating that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock, that they were prepared at once to withdraw their troops from Poland, a state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received, and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. Okay, let's go in. I'll show my ticket and um, then we'll have a little walk around. I don't think it needs to be long. I'm not going to go into depth and detail about everything that I see. I'm just going to wander around, catch some sights. So. Okay. Main hall, little cafe at the end, double-decker bus. You can go on the bus, just ask a member of staff, they'll let you up on the bus and you can film from the top there. But if there's nobody there? If there's nobody there and the chain's across it, just shout and okay. one of us will come back. Uh, there, is, there is a member of staff down there. Okay, well. so I'll he's just. He's yeah. probably got the chain off anyway if he's sitting there. So okay. That won't be a problem. Uh, follow the corridor through. You'll yeah. find model railways, model ships. Keep going through, and it leads you into another gallery like this with more shop fronts, more cars, um, and loads and loads of motorbikes. Oh, wonderful. As you go round, you'll find various buttons to press. Most of them in little red boxes, but some of them are like this one. Press the button, it'll either tell you about what you're looking at, or give you something to laugh at. And if you need any help, just shout for a member of staff. Thank you very much. Right, so I don't need to talk anymore, do I? <laughs> he said it all. So what we've got, in this hall, shop fronts, there's an old garage, there's old vehicles, which I'm going to look at each and every one. Then we'll go through into the other area in fact i thought they had it on the map i thought there was a, a floor plan i've seen a floor plan um so yeah look at this shall i walk around the back of these old build uh, cars and then we'll head over to the bus go up on the bus and then come back around the front and then we'll go through very good condition, aren't they? <laughs> Illuminated the policeman. 
The MG Midget is a small two-seater sports car produced by BMC. Let's see. Gifted by Mrs. L. Butt. I love the little hamper on the back. And an Austin A30. Tell them about the G's, Gromit. Lee Francis P-Type, I've never heard of that. Oh, look at this model of the, um, the Lee's Cliff. I think they've got funding to um, rebuild this. I have had the pleasure of going up the real thing. Hookston Cliff Lift. Sounds like someone snoring in there. What, to make them go up and down? And there's a button in there and he snores and that other thing. <laughs> Is it like a road worker, a, nav a navvy or something? Oh, workers living van. <laughs> I'm asking the general public. Workers living van, look at this. Press the sound but do not wake me. <laughs> Authentic sound, right? <laughs> Bottom burp. Right, never had a passion for these things. Like the old bikes, steamrollers. 1914 Pierce Arrow R7. Once they got to grips with developing, it just snowballed. And now we're into the realms of electric cars, aren't we? So we're coming here, Rover 1000. And a Wolseley. Mark III Wolseley 690. It's not the kind of thing they used as a police car in their day. AA patrol bike. Replica AA box for the handbooks. I think you can get to see these cars out on the road. They actually do run. I missed the little mini. Who doesn't love a little Mini, eh? Mark IV Mini, 19... What was that? Does it say? 1976. Gosh, that's nearly 40 years old. 50 years old. That's the funny thing, isn't it? When we think of, oh, 2010, it was only last year, and you think, well, no, that was 14 years ago. The year 2000 was 24 years ago. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, the Austin A40. Still see them racing around um, Lydon Hill, actually. Right, so we'll do the shop fronts in a minute, coming back. Oh, fire engine I love these old coaches because as a kid growing up in Scotland when I did my first school in Dunfermline these were the kind of buses I would get to school because we lived rural there's coaches. You can't get inside that one, but I'll see if I can get the camera looking in. Does that look familiar to you all? Actually, I should have come up this way. Get a shot in. Look at that ceiling in there. The orange skylight. Inside this one? Am I allowed to? Well, I'm a bit nervous. Great here. I'd love to. Just to relive some memories. 
bit of a squeeze up here. And it's all right to go on the top deck of the bus as yes, well? Yes, it is, yes. Yeah. Right, there we are, sir. Side entrance because they used to use them for um, coach trips, right? That's right. So Rather... this, this was last used, um, I think in 60, for the miners at Betsinger. Betsy. Okay. So to yeah. transport them to the colliery. Yeah, yeah, that's right. When it came out of service from doing normal coach work, uh, yeah, so we give them to understand. Are you local? Or? Yeah, yeah. So, you know Watling Tires in Cherisher Avenue? Yes. That is where Air's coaches were. Oh, okay. This is where this was. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think there's only three of these left, but we have people up here who used to drive it. Does this actually still run? Yes, we use it, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. We got so I, I could drive it myself, but so we, yeah, we went to the um, didn't go to the county show this year. We went to the Detling bus show at Maidstone. Yeah, yeah, with my my mini bus out there as well. That little one's mine. Oh, it's beautiful. That, that. that's what was my dad's. Is that what they call a dormobile? Yeah, it's a dormobile twelve seater mini bus. <laughs> yeah, um, I love it. Yeah. I feel like a proper bus driver. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's got no power steering. I, I suppose though, when you were driving, it would be um, yeah, easy right. enough it's to the same do. As my bus, I've got power steering. <laughs> um. Keep quiet in the back. <laughs> the, the, the naughty school kids, right? <laughs> I don't want any of you smoking in the back. <laughs> right, I'm going to go up on the big bus then. Yeah. I think. Well, you, yeah, you go out. Sounds, sounds exciting. exciting. Thanks Thank for letting me on. Okay. Yeah, take you around there. Let you up on the bus. Okay. Thank you very much. Was that great? Come to the Dover Patrol, uh, Dover Transport Museum because they let you in and see everything. So this represents a little garage. I'll press here. Yeah, press there. Oh, he's welding. <laughs> here, Fred, get some more welding rods. This chassis is like a Swiss cheese. Come on, Fred. <laughs> You can see it's fixing it inside. <laughs> True. Wonderful. At May's Cycle Shop, established 1923. London Road, Dover. So this represents his cycle workshop. There's all the old tyres hanging up. <laughs> old tandem. I might ask the guy in terms of the gear if I if I remember with regards to whether they still hunt for old stuff, you know. Rally rally gentlemen's roadster. And this is what makes these kind of places interesting is that it's not just the bike, it's not just the car, but I find when they put display cases like this and you see it's really silly, but it's like bicycle torches and lights. And I think, well, you know what? These ones down here, I had on my bike when I was six, uh, 13 and 14. Because you're supposed to have a bike. You're supposed to have a light on a bike, aren't you? Right, I want to go up on the top deck of this bus. All right to go up? Yeah. Yeah, if you just go upstairs. Yeah. You don't go upstairs, that's how you do Downstairs is out of bounds, but I can point my camera yeah, yeah, inside, sure can't I? Can I? Everyone wants to go upstairs, though, don't they? The stairs are a little bit steep, so it's not in. Okay. Oh, look at the curved floor. So this is what they would have called a, a low bridge. So this piece here, you would have dropped a step down in, in, on a gangway to get to the rear seat. Ah, okay. So they, they would have had all the seats on the left with yeah, just a, like a passageway on the it's right. Like, it's, this was 1958. This was converted in 1972 to an open top. So, so actually this step here would have been, would have been the base yeah, floor, yeah, would I it? Yeah. Okay. So this was converted in 1970 to an open top seaside for South End. Oh, okay. It belongs to South End Transport. Our chairman, Dave Atkins, owns it. Um, it got used for weddings a lot. He hadn't got a driver at the moment, so... It is 
It's rocking, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to film you rocking now. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. Bird's eye view. Let's have a look at the shop front. Take a trip down memory lane. Yeah, this is probably more for boys, isn't it? Although I'm sure girls must have played with toy cars as well. What is this shop? Tobacconist. Agents for Royal Enfield. P. J. Percy Motorcycles. Oh yeah, do you fancy an old motorcycle? Look at this. Now, Norman Motorcycles, and here you can see a fuel tank for an old Norman, manufactured in Ashford, Kent. Norman Motorcycles were an Ashford company. Amazing. Look at that. Looks kind of like a motocross. I reckon these old bikes all work, you know. Little mopeds, and they're all Normans. Did they do motorcycles? Did bicycles as well? Yes, look, Norman bicycles. If you're going to start a collection of Norman stuff, come here and have a look at their collection. This is astonishing. Such good condition. And I'm not familiar with the Norman brand. You know, I have a motorcycle license, and I can reel off some of the big, obvious ones: Ducati, Yamaha. Hondas and the like. I had a Suzuki Bandit myself. I wonder, things like I clutch on my left and have a foot brake on my right, but I think on some of these older bikes, they flip them. It used to be the other way around. Anyway, let's continue through. And in the second hall, we pass through the model railway and then into another arena, another big hall like this. Let's just do a circuit of this first. Lots of toy cars. Oh, I had some of them as a kid. The little transit police accidents. All different types of police cars. So that's the 0080 scale railway. I think the buttons are on the other side, so we'll make something work in a minute. However, got toy train stuff, little end gauge. This, this is supposed to represent Dover, isn't it? It's the Dover line coming along Abbott's Cliff. There's a picture of the real thing. Oh, I've, I've triggered it off. <laughs> it's good that they have them running. So is that going to come down? Little train coming through. <laughs> because we like toy trains, right? Is that other one coming through? Here it comes. Choo -choo. Into the station. Stop here somewhere, please. Oh, he's carrying on. Gearboxes, a range of. What have we got here? George Thomas Timber Yard Hardware, glass cut to size. Representation of someone's workshop. What have we got in here? All about the Channel Tunnel by the looks of it. Oh, it's a maritime stuff. The RV Calypso, a former British Royal Navy minesweeper, converted to a research vessel, vessel for the oceanographic researcher Jacques-Yves Cousteau. So it was a British minesweeper before it was Jacques Cousteau's laboratory ship. Fascinating. T-class destroyer, midget submarines. 
Dankeschön. for firing all the trains off. Wee woo! It's like miniature world in Germany. The kind of fairground here. Oh, I love that. I didn't notice that before. I've got a stagecoach bus station in the middle. Oh, it's busy, busy, busy. It's like London Bridge. <laughs> you rang. <laughs> Let's go through to the second hall then, see what they've got in here. So this second hall, it's mostly all shop fronts going all the way down both sides. Then we've got some cars and things in the middle. I think there's some more motorcycles at the top. So let's just take it as we find it. Wireless and electrical. 18 High Street, Dover. Look at these old things. See, the thing for me, I'm 61. So when I was growing up as a kid, in the 60s and the 70s, my old relatives would have all of this kind of paraphernalia in the house. So it's not unusual for me to see this kind of thing. I, if I bring all my grandchildren here, they'd be looking at this thinking it's dinosaur stuff. But my dad had real to real. Not unfamiliar. Now here we go. Photographer, portrait and wedding photography, Town Wall Street, Dover. Ray Warner. It's old camera gear. Perfect for me. In my... Is that... Can you see anything through there? <laughs> old cine cameras, look. Box cameras. Look at these old things. What have we got here? Old Park Garden Store. It's amazing that they create these things. All for 12 quid to come and see. Hellfire Corner. It is afternoon now, isn't it? Time, time just keeps... I myself, that's not holding any longer. Have you been stood there all day long so far? No, no, mooching around. Okay. Look at this, it's all the stuff I grew up wanting and desiring, <laughs> but my pocket money would never reach to. <laughs> Adolf Hitler and Goering. <laughs> More shops on this side. Let's try in the East Kent bus station first. As the clerk doing his accounting. All things East Kent. And I do believe East Kent is still a business that work, operates today. I might have to chat with one of the guys to find out. It's not all stagecoach, right? There's still some independence. I wonder if stagecoach can be done for um, monopolising. What's this old London taxi? Doesn't look that familiar to me. The Winchester taxi. The model was not successful. The Winchester only gained about 2% of the market and total production 
for all versions was less than 200 over a nine year period. It just looks antiquated, doesn't it? Why would anybody want one of them? So what we've got here, motorcycles, more motorcycles, BSAs, a little Lambretta, cling film on the seat. Oh, you feel like you want to go riding, don't you? With some wind in your hair. <laughs> Turn up, boys. I'm going to go upstairs. I might get an aerial view of the room from up here. Oh, I've just realised I've left the um, tailgate of my car open. I better wind this up very quickly. <laughs> We're nearly done anyway. Shop, fixing things. Let's get a view of the room from up here. I left the old prams and things up there. Right, I'm looking at my car with the tailgate open. What a fool. I should have closed it. So I think I'm going to wind the video up. So we'll just have a quick walk along this row of shop fronts. Oh, look at the old bike. It's like my racer in the 70s. What is that? Is that a rally? VSA, which would have been licensed to from rally. Brewington's toys, games, and souvenirs. Look at all the toys. Toys, toys, toys. The James Bond collection. They're pretty nifty. Look at all the old cars represented in all the films. All the baddies. And we've got the Temple Yule Post Office and General Store. There we go. Look at all those brands. Do they look familiar? How many of you can recognise them? Drop me a comment. Shoe shop, Green Street shoe shop, and we've got FT Moore's quality footwear. That's your Timpsons of its day. An old phone box. Oh, you you won't know because the camera can't tell you, but the aroma in here. Yeah, yeah. Tudor Travels. That's the channel. Yeah, just hit the like and subscribe. <laughs> I wish. I wish. <laughs> so it's got two halls, loads of old vehicles, and the old boys want to talk to you about it and tell you. I say old boys, I'm an old boy, aren't I? <laughs> ah, that was fascinating. Let's just finish by looking at um, the old chap's doormobile because I'm aware that my car's unlocked and the, the um, tailgate is open. What a thing to do. Good thing I wasn't visiting a castle, right? It's sunny. A Reg. A Reg, was that 1963? Is that when the first old original A's came out? I think so, because I was born in 63. Is that car 61 year old, same as me? Bedford Doormobile. 12 seat minibus. I was chatting to the guy, wasn't I? That owns this. And he says he maintains it. It looks in pretty good condition. Turn that into my photography van for doing road trips. <laughs> nice job. How he did all right with that. Okay, that's the Dover Transport Mo uh, Museum. It costs £12 to get in. You get an annual ticket, and if you want to come and revisit, and they've got any special events on, you can do that any time. The guy said, no restrictions. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to cobble something together. Hopefully I can. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.